A family in the Bronx will never stop mourning the brutal murder of their 13-year-old girl. How could they? It took days for the family to help find her body tossed into a dumpster, but it took New York detectives two decades to find the man they say killed her. And how cops linked Joseph Martinez to the murder of minor Liz Soriano. Well, that's what authorities are explaining tonight. I went to reporter Stefan Kim, live in the Melrose section of the Bronx with this pretty remarkable story. Stefan. Well, Bill, approved about four years ago by the state, it's called familial DNA, and this is the first time this technology has been used to solve a cold case in New York City. This beautiful little girl was treated less than human. It has been 22 years since her life was cruelly taken, but detectives never gave up on finding justice for her and her family. 13-year-old Minerly Soriano, who went by Minnie in 1999, was on her way home in Co-op City when she was sexually abused and strangled. Three days after she went missing, her body was discovered in a dumpster in the Bronx, dumped like trash. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Bookman in 1999. Police spent much of yesterday looking through the trash at this video store here at the Bay Plaza shopping complex in the Baychester section of the Bronx. More than 20 years later, investigators say they found her killer. 49-year-old Joseph Martinez pleaded not guilty today to murder charges. There were several persons of interest involved in this case, all of whom were excluded via DNA. The prosecutors say they have mounds of evidence against him. Police made the arrest in the cold case murder yesterday. This case brings together modern science and traditional investigative work. This case has left a dramatic impact on us. Detectives found the father of the suspect, which then led to Martinez. It's like building a family tree by searching for specific familial DNA. The DNA evidence recovered uh, from from Minerlees was uh, initially searched through the CODIS databases, which are the government databases for a direct match. Those results were negative in 2000. Consequently, when familial DNA searching was introduced, familial DNA searching is a deliberate search using specialized software for a relative. Minnie's family at the DA's press conference say they never gave up hope. It's been 22 years, she says. All of this has been overwhelming, but they're grateful to detectives and the DA. Nobody from her family and none of Minnie's friends remember Martinez, but police say he lived in Co op City in 1999. Police say he was living all these years in New Rochelle in plain sight, living a public life, calling himself Jupiter Joe. A YouTube video shows him in public places teaching astronomy to children. If I told you my name was Joe Martinez, would you remember it? His defense attorney says police have the wrong man. He denies these allegations. Uh, the case is pretty unusual in that Mr. Martinez is 49 years old. He has no criminal history. Now, when asked if this new technology would be a game changer for prosecutors, the DA said, we'll just have to see. Minnie would have been 35 years old today.